Alright guys, this is iDevice Fixer, and I am Mo from Mo's Technology. As you can probably tell, I'm really tired, and this is probably because that um I've just we've just finished a month for Ramadan and Eid was two days ago so now we are completely finished and now I'm just in my full holiday so as you can probably tell right now as well I've just woken up and I'm just quickly doing this video because most of it is going to be on the screen so I'm just going to need my voice for it and basically what this video is is that um, I'm going to be upgrading my computer with the hard drive RAM and uh, I'm going to add a CD DVD re rewriter into it um, so basically, yeah, that's what it is. So we're gonna go onto the screen, and I'm gonna show you which parts I'm most probably gonna get. All right, guys. So we're on the screen now. As you can see, my background is most technology, which is part of my logo, and also is my intro. And I hope you like the intro because it was new. I spent quite a bit of time into it. So we might as well move on to what we're gonna get. So as you can see right now. I have picked out the Western Digital Black Series, which is a 1TB SATA 3 drive, and it's 3.5 inches, and it's an internal hard drive. It runs at 7200 RPM, and it has got 64 megabits of cache. So, what is a Black Series? Well, I never knew what a Black Series was until I wanted to upgrade my drive. And what I have searched and what I have known is that in western digital you get a green and a blue drive i don't know which one's the better one out of the green and blue but i know for sure that the black series is always the high end of western digital which probably means it's got the best specs so um i was going to get a two terabyte green labeled one um for what was it? i think it was around um 70 pound or 60 pound yeah but I've read that even with the green and blues, you should always go to the blacks because they're the most reliable and the best ones, they're the fastest. So, from the research, I've known that the Western Digital Black Series, the new ones, have got SATA 3 and they run at 7200 RPM, which I think the old ones do as well. But this one has got 64 megabits of cache, which, um, which I've researched and have read that basically um, it helps on just say you open up a folder you'll see that the, it'll come up on the screen much quicker um, and all of that stuff like to do with data transfer and all of that and 7200 RPM is one of the highest I think could, or is the highest um, speeds that a hard drive runs at and SATA 3 is basically if you have bought a new motherboard so within the last two years I believe two or max three years um, your motherboard should have SATA 3 a SATA 3 controller and basically what that is it allows um, six gigabytes I think it's six gigabytes per second not six gigabits maybe per second and this that's the new technology in them so it's really fast and basically I don't really know much about Western um, Western digital black drives at the moment so I will do a bit more research on it and then hopefully I will purchase this one because I have not I have read up that this hard drive this one that I've got got here right now is one of the top drives to get anyways let's move on to the RAM so let me show you what I've got right now and it's um, four gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz of RAM and basically it's Samsung Samsung so it, it worked um, if I show you it's two times two so that means two gigabytes in one and then two gigabytes in two and then so that basically means it's dual channel so you put if you look on your board you'll see like um, two blue sockets on RAM and then it'll be the two white sockets so basically that's one channel the same color so um, yeah so I'm gonna get two times four so that will be four and four there so all together that add up to 12 gigs of RAM so now um, from there just knowing that 12 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte black series drive is slightly going to be a beast of a machine um, although it ain't got a graphics card um, so 
it won't be able to do like gaming or like they say you can't really do high end video editing but with my Core i5 I've already got built in um, HD 4000 graphics um, and with that um, it's it's actually quite good because I use Final Cut Pro X and I do 1080p HD video editing I don't get no problems at all once in a while I do get like the beach board which kind of just sticks there for around one to two seconds but I've read up that that's probably to do with your RAM and your hard drive because your RAM's getting full filled up and basically I've only got four gigs which around one gig goes into um, just the actual operating system for it to be running and the other three gigs that what another gig will be done into that the actual video editing and one will be done into import and the one we do to export so it does really get full, full up so with 12 gigs of RAM hopefully I shouldn't have a problem at all and with that fast hard drive one terabyte 7200 rpm so it's going to spin really fast and hopefully it will be a good drive to get so as you can see which ram i'm getting is the corsair vengeance 8 gigabytes what i'm known is that the corsair vengeance is one of the best rams i've known people using corsair vengeance ram for gaming and i've also seen people use it for um hackintoshes and i think bob roach um from roach technology um, he also use. I think he always uses Corsair Vengeance in his um, hacking toshes. So I'm definitely getting this one for sure, no matter what. So it's a Corsair Vengeance, eight gigs. Um, um, it, it's got. It runs at 1600 megahertz and it's DDR3. So what you have to make sure if you are upgrading your RAM is the DDR. So just say it's DDR2 or DDR3. You have to make sure you get that specific so as you can see it's got ddr3 so if you should see here it says ddr3 and also um it says 1600 megahertz here so you have to make sure it's 1600 megahertz if you do get some if you do buy some ram lower so as you can see it's um 1600 megahertz already installed the ram that i've got is 1600 megahertz so just say i bought corsair um just say it was uh, something lower just say or something lower yeah and um, basically what that would do is that if it's still DDR3 it, st it should still work but it'll clock all your RAMs down to that speed so if it's a old if it's a slower RAM it will clock the rest of your RAMs down if you understand what I'm trying to say so basically that's the RAM I'm getting and it's only 50 pound which is definitely a good price to get it. so the last thing is the DVD right arm I was worried about which one to get um, so what I did I went on Tony Mac I went on to the chat bit and I asked them which hard drive I mean which CD DVD drivers work and basically they said that there shouldn't be any problem with any of them um, as long as it's SATA which is here I made sure and I asked one of the guys one of the main guys there I asked him what do you use he goes LG so I picked out an LG and for £13.09 with £2 posted packaging it's LG as he said and it's SATA so hopefully I shouldn't have no problems with this at all so that's about it that's the three products I'm going to get and I, when I get them I'm definitely going to do an unboxing a review on each of them and I'm definitely going to do another video on installing them into my computer so watch out for them videos they will be coming soon subscribe to me comment rate on this video and also follow up, follow me on Twitter at Mohammed underscore Joe. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and rate.